In this video, we're going to see how to add and subtract fractions. And this is like adding and subtracting expressions. Uh, we just start with the equation of two variables, sort of add the right-hand sides. The notation will be a little different than what you're used to, so pay attention to that. We're going to do two examples. In the first one, there's a function f with this function equation, x squared plus 2x, and a function g with this function equation, uh, 6 minus x squared. And we want to find f plus g and f minus g. All right. So to uh, add these functions, we will add the right sides of the equations. So we'll take the right side for f. and add the right side for g. Now you can take that and then simplify it. Since you may want to work with it later, you want to have a simplified version. You'll notice that we can combine like terms here. x squared and negative x squared will subtract to 0. So you're left with f plus g being equal to 2x plus 6. All right, uh, let's try subtracting them now. With subtraction, we're doing the same thing with subtracting the right-hand sides of the equations, but we need to use parentheses to make sure we really subtract all the terms in the second function, in this case, g. So we're going to put parentheses around both f and g. And we get that. Now to simplify here, we're going to want to distribute and then combine like terms. And what we're distributing is the negative or a negative 1. So you can drop the parentheses around the first part. Uh, but in the second part, we want to distribute that negative 1. So multiplying by negative 1, you'll get a negative 6, and a positive x squared. Right, so we had negative 1 times positive 6 gives us negative 6, and the negative 1 times negative x squared gives us a positive x squared. You can then combine like terms here with the x squared being added to x squared to give us to x squared. Now when you add and subtract functions you get new functions and the domain may be different than the components so you want to identify the new domain. In this case if you look at f and g they're both polynomials and so f plus g and f minus g are also going to be polynomials. f plus g is linear, f minus g is quadratic, So they're both polynomials, and we know that polynomials, all polynomials, have a domain of all real numbers. And you may want to evaluate the functions. We weren't expected to do that in this problem. All right, let's look at a more complicated example. This time we have f being a rational function, 1 over x minus 4, g is also a rational function, 1 over 6 minus x. And we want to know what the value of f plus g is when x is 0 and the value of f minus g when x is 6. All right, so let's add the functions in the same way to get the new function. Now simplifying here involves adding two fractions with unlike denominators. So just like with whole numbers, you would 
get a common denominator And we're now ready to add those fractions. So we have that common denominator of x minus 4 times 6 minus x. So that means we can bring them all onto one fraction. Just add those numerators. And since we're just adding, we don't really need parentheses here. And we can then combine like terms. 6 minus 4 is 2. And x and negative x give us 0. So this is the simplified version of f plus g. Very similar if we go to subtract. We just will subtract the two fractions. Since they're big fractions, we don't really need the parentheses around the second one. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that just to have a good practice that we always follow. And the common denominator situation will be the same. We'll just be subtracting. So that means that when these are brought onto one fraction, that we're subtracting. So here's where you need the parentheses to make sure you really subtract that whole second numerator. Uh, because when we go to clear parentheses here in the numerator, we got to subtract the x, which remember to do, but also subtracting the negative 4, right? Uh, subtracting a negative 4 is going to be like adding the 4. So we end up with that. And this is going to be different from the two we had when we added those. Now we have 6 plus 4, which is 10, and negative x and negative x, which is negative 2x. All right. So looking at these simplified versions, You can see that there will be issues with the domain. Um, remember that the domain for rational functions is all real numbers except for where there's division by 0. And you're going to get division by 0 when x is 4 or when x is 6. So we want the domain to be all real numbers except when x equals 4 and x equals 6. You're going to have the same domain or the other one because it has the same denominator. Right, they both have that same denominator, so they're both going to have the same numbers 4 and 6 where we have division by 0. Now that we have these functions, we can evaluate them by replacing x with any number in the domain. So Going back to the original problem, we wanted to know what f plus g of 0 was. So if we use this formula and replace x with 0, you're going to get 0 minus 4, which is negative 4, and 6 minus 0, which is 6. And so this will be negative 4 times 6, which is negative 24. And 2 divided by negative 24 is just going to be negative 1 over 12. What about f minus g of 6? 
And that's actually going to be undefined since 6 is not in the domain. If you put in x is 6, you're going to get division by 0 right there, so that's undefined.